think what I'm going to do, I'm start, I'll start up the second bale shredding. I need to take a quick break. And then um, I guess we can finish off the day seeding those three fields. So I'll be back in a minute. Okay, I am back. We are shredded. So let us get this one back to where it needs to be. I did put the skid steer away, didn't I? Yes. And game bank day is 10.18. So I guess after the stream I will get those bales wrapped. Um, I might do a couple of grass contracts. Um, just to bring in a little bit more cash. And um, after that, that would be the end of our day. So I'll do the grass contracts off camera. They'll probably, if, if I can find some silage contracts, I'll just run out with the, the mower set and the wrapping baler, get those done. And uh, that will be contracts for September. We've got absolutely nothing else to do in September. So we can skip September three I might do uh, another round of, um, what is it, um, perishable sales for September, but frankly, um, I'm going to have to move that. Um, I'm probably... Uh, We did it once. If we do it, if we do it, it's just for income, as opposed to put this back where we had it. It's still full of herbicides, so that would put us next week on uh, on October which means we can fertilize and um, herbicide all of the fields. We can fertilize all of the fields. We can herbicide the two, the, all but the two fields we already did. All right, 
Let's uh, back that there. Attach it. And again, my complaint last week. So probably not holding on to this cedar for too much longer which is going to mean that this tractor is not going to be able to do this job next year I, what I might do is start selling off all of the equipment I don't want uh, why did I do that so this cedar I'm kind of done with the um, I think there was something else that it was just sort of, yeah, I really don't need this anymore. Oh, I might sell the uh, the mulcher and the roller as well. Um, just to give myself, is that it? Okay. Um, a little bit more operating capital for now. And then um, we can buy new ones either over the course of the year if they come up on press the wrong button again. Okay, there we go. Oh, I didn't notice I missed the, uh, I missed the silo. I wonder if using a front loader and waving those boxes over where the silo is would fix, yeah, would actually do things. Okay, let us, let's grab the contract. Um, baling, cultivating, fertilizing, harvesting, sowing. There we go. So, one. Barley we can do and wheat we can do. Uh, wheat went away. Okay. So, we have three and sixty. 3 and 60, and the map's up there, 3, which is, okay, down towards the store, and 60 should be up by us, oh, it's that big one there, seems fair, we'll do 60 first, and then we'll go down to do number 3, because 60 is closest to our yard, now this is a direct drill, so I might get hurt by the, uh, the rocks in these fields, but I'm just going to have to live with it, I guess. So yeah, field on our left needs seeding, or needs spraying. And there's another one somewhere. Oh, I think it's the one by our old house. Or maybe along the back, I don't know, I can't remember. Okay, so the seeding is on that limed field there. And as I said, I don't have GPS on this tractor. So we're going to be planting in as straight a line as I can manage, which is not necessarily going to be incredibly straight. But, uh, okay, you do have to turn the seeder on. And, oh, wait for it. We're on field 60. What does this field want? This field wants barley. So shall we make it do that? And turn it off. Canola, wheat, barley. Turn it back on again. Or the doodad. And we are seeding barley. Okay. Now, again, I don't know how much seed this is going to take. However, we do have those two pallets of seed in our yard, so uh, might not be too much of a problem. Maybe. Possibly. I don't know. But for right now, We'll get this unloaded. Oh, 
Oops, sorry. So Mrs. Osa was right about it being a little warm in here because my glass of iced water is not exactly iced or cool anymore. I only poured that this morning. Now that said, oh, I want have to check with Mrs. Osa when she gets home. Because we should have the HVAC people coming over to service the AC unit. I think this coming month. <coughs> sure what we're having for lunch this weekend. Um, I know the kids tend to like either spaghetti or pizza. However, uh, we have figured out that, to be honest, they'll eat anything you put in front of them and like it. But um, if you ask them what they want, they want uh, spaghetti or the other thing, pizza. Home, both of them homemade. Snacks, mac and cheese, but they'll eat a ham sandwich if you put it in front of them. So there is a slight difference between what they ask for and what they'll actually eat. And we figured out they'll actually eat pretty much anything. Oh, another field full of stones. So we're 76 on the Massey and 72 on the Cedar. We need to watch how quickly the Cedar dies on this field. Okay. Well, I'm thinking we'll do three headlands and then Start running the rows. Should do it the other way round, because you shouldn't be driving on the seeded patch of ground. Although, you know, this is not exactly a heavy tractor. So we won't suffer from much compaction driving over ground that's already seeded. But you should try and avoid that as much as possible. I am missing the corners a little bit. Although that said, I have I have seen farmers do it this way, where they seed the headlands and then do the middle. It's But maybe it's because the farmers that do it this way have tiny tractors like what we've got here. And thus don't have too much issue with compaction when driving them on fields. So the thing to consider is we should not be spraying this field. You with a sprayer attached to the back of the John Deere because the John Deere is a heavy tractor and will make a mess of things even with narrow tires. 
should make more of a mess of the things with narrow tyres because they don't distribute the weight as much as wide tyres do or doubles or whatever. Twenty thousand money. So if I want the Fent with the biggest engine, I should buy. I should borrow about a hundred thousand after I finished the seeding contracts. So, last headland. And then we'll go running up down the field. <coughs> we'll start at the top here, finish down at the bottom over there, and see how much seed we have left in the tank. I honestly don't know how much. Uh, much of the field we've done because I haven't been watching for the little messages saying you're 10% done or whatever. I would hope I'm 21% done because if I'm not we're going to have to refill the tank. I'm also not sure if this is the bigger of the two fields we have to seed. Also, if I sell this cedar, I am not going to have the ability to do any more seeding contracts this year. That's not a big deal. Um, I mean, you, you, you look at the equipment we have, I am satisfied with the um, spreader. I mean, we could use the bigger one, although I don't think I own it. I think that's on lease. Um, the spraying equipment is absolutely where we want to be. The baling equipment is absolutely where we want to be. I have, I want bigger uh, rollers and mulches, and there is a mod that allows us to do both and switch between them for 2000. Um, and I want a bigger cedar. This cedar is very limited. But once we've seeded these two fields, I don't need a seeder on the farm until next September, when we get round to seeding again. Or is it August? I can't remember if there's a, a crop in August. Canola we, we can plant in August, but all of the rest happens in September, October. So I can go without a seeder on the farm for that long. So maybe what I think about doing is sell the mulcher, sell the roller, sell the cedar, and um, pay off the two lease. Oh no, I know. We've got two pieces of leased equipment. Oh hello, cold room check bucket for the big one. Oh. Um, lease. The only thing I have leased is the baler and that is 83,000 that's expensive. So uh, do I want to purchase it not yet? So yeah I could buy that baler. Um, I don't have to I think if we go back and look at it it's uh, five, hours, five hours four months. So I do I need I need to watch that we can use it for 15 more hours and then we're gonna have to purchase it or it's gonna end up costing us progressively more per period that we uh, don't purchase it and this is why I want GPS on this job um, okay, what was the other thing I wanted to look for? Um, uh, uh, 
I wanted to look at something else and I forgot what it is. Oh! Completion. We're on field 60. We're 30% done. We are 69%. Full. So we might need some more seeds to finish this job. Okay, I am doing... I'm thinking 50 is where we're at. So I want to do about 55. No, 55, 62. out there and straight line drop the, th the things and drive it no I think I blew that that looks way wider than the cedar is but I think once you got seed in the ground it won't replant it so I'm not going to use seed if I have to split the row to our right. It's just that I'm very close to uh, not having capacity. To complete the job. But it's not, you know, that said, it's not far down to our farm to pick up the uh, extra seed pallets or seeds don't care about pallets, I just want seeds in the cedar. So yeah, this is a little bit wider than the cedar is. Let's drive. Um, so 50 is the line I want. That's not the button I want to press, but we're saving, so that's fine. Um, own equipment, cedars. This is, oh, it's 6 point, no, it's 6.4 tons. It's four and a half meters. So two rows, you know, two rows is plus nine. So if I turn around, uh, see if I can split this one as best I can. There is going to be a large swath of mist ground going this way. But we'll try and do every nine meters as we track down the field. And we'll, we're basically doing manual GPS at that point. I have to do the math. So the course we're plotting at the moment is 53. That's not what I want. 53 plus 9 is 62. So I should come back on 62 and leave a gap that's four and a half meters wide. However, that's not going to be entirely true here. Well, maybe it is. Because that is almost good. So I turn back here and I want to line up on this one. That's 64. Four and a half is nine. <coughs> so the next one is 73. Yeah, see, um, this wasn't straight. This is still near, yeah, not, not the straightest, but it's, it's kind of better than nothing. So I am edging into a piece that I've already done. We are at 46% done. 46 plus 86 is a good number. As far as completion is concerned. Oh, 
Okay, so 63, 73, I think, was what I wanted it on. So there's 73, there's 75, 6, come back. 5, 4, 3, straighten it. Two seventy degrees is what I want to be driving approximately. So about that should give me enough room on my right to actually fit the seat at the far end. We've been tacking a little bit south as we planted that row. This one's working out a lot straighter. Is it? Yes. Yeah, this one's pretty much on the row. So, 72 plus 9, 81 is the next turn. We're halfway and 55% seed. So, math says we're going to make this. Slow down, lift. So, 82. 72, 83, 80. Two. So the tractor is now on 82. Actually, it was 81, wasn't it? I can't remember. And we need to be heading on a 90 degree angle, which we are not. Now we kind of are. Look at that. And drive the tractor. Oops. Nope, that was right. So what I'm doing is I'm using the three numbers in the in the mini map at the bottom. The first one is the the course I'm setting. So around about 90 degrees is directly east, which is what I want here. Um, I have the last number is 82, which is the distance from the the north side of the map in meters. So we're doing, we're now on 81, plus 9 is 90. So if I set that to 90, when I go back the other way, I should end up seeding exactly 4.5 metres apart. Or, sorry, leaving a 4.5 metre row between the two. So turnings put us to 92. We track back to 90. This is one of the reasons why a bigger cedar is better. We are struggling even with this cedar. So there we are, back on 90. Set the course to 270. 68, nope. And 69.7, close enough. Lower the head and engage cruise control. So this gap here should be about four and a half meters. So if we came back along that row, there wouldn't be any white between the two rows. That's the theory. And I think what I'm going to do now is... I don't really want to head all the way down the field and all the way back the field. So what I might do is I might go back. We've got three gaps on the right 